What's going on, Georgia Transparency? Going hot. Uh, yes, we did get arrested today in Warner Robins by the Warner Robins Police Department. It was, in my opinion, in my strong opinion, an illegal arrest by Officer Hall that wanted to flex his ego and everything. So um, I was there working on a private job um, for something else and everything and um, totally unrelated. However, um, this uh, police officer decided he wanted to, uh, you know, flex his ego a little bit. So uh, I guess uh, I guess he thought his badge could handle this. So uh, without further ado, it's a it's kind of a it's a it's a short video. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into it. Hey guys, Wrangler here, and in this this is uh, will be part of a three part series we're doing on Georgia transparency. Who is Russell Clarence Pickeron? Does he, in fact, be the person that claims to be Georgia Transparency? Well, we'll get into that. In this one, we're going to go over his arrest and trial and subsequent conviction for him stalking a woman in Warner Robins where he claimed he was working as a private investigator. He never was a private investigator. He was an armed security guard. He was a rent-a-cop. The reason he was a rent-a-cop is because he was run out of the Coweta County Sheriff's Department where he was a corrections officer and a piss poor one at that. And I got the records to back that shit up. Next, he used his experience on paper, anyway, as a corrections officer to secure a security guard license, which reads the same as a private investigator's license with the Secretary of State of Georgia. All right. This arrest and subsequent conviction cost him his job cost him his entire license. And the reason for that was, is he claims he was working. He wasn't working. He was stalking a woman. She called the cops. The cops went up there and they busted him for what he was doing. Everything he says is not only a lie, it's wrong. So we'll get into it. And he's even ripping off LA. Let's get into it. And if he were a professional investigator and he was working that area, first thing he would have done was called the police. Yes, my name is so-and-so, this is my license number, I am armed, this is my job, this is who I work for, and this is my license plate, in case he received a call like this. A professional investigator, when the cops showed up, first thing he done is, my name is so-and-so, this is my ID, this is my driver's license, I don't remember at the time if Georgia had concealed carry permit, um, but he would have informed the officer, this is what I'm doing, that's what a professional private investigator would have done. So whatever he was doing was not on the clock for several reasons, because he's a security guard at the time. He's not a private investigator. Anyway, guys, let's watch him get arrested and we'll follow this up. Oh, uh, not much. Just chilling. Chilling? Yeah. Do you have any reason to be at this church? Uh, do I have a reason not to be here? Well, it's a closed business right now, so you're not allowed to be here. Oh, okay. Okay. So I got to leave? You got your ID on you? Um, I, I do. Do I got to show it? Yes, you do. For what crime? Uh, it's not a crime, sir, but right now there's an investigation going on because the crime is loitering and prowling. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So, yes, sir, you do have to present your ID. Okay, so uh, you speak for the business? No, sir, but someone called because you were here, therefore I'm allowed to investigate this. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, unless so I've I need committed you to present a, your ID now. Unless I've committed a crime. Okay. I mean, have I committed a crime? You have, loitering. For s sitting in a private spot? Who called sitting you? Sitting on a private property of a closed business. I'm going to ask you one more time to present your ID. So has the closed business called you? I'm not going to give you that information. Okay, I'll let you know. I'm a private investigator. I'm here investigating the claimant that's in this neighborhood. Okay. I have my credentials I need and I'll be happy to show those to you if I've got a lead. Let's touch on that statement right there for just one second. It says, Officer Hall lied to my boss and said I was investigating crime. I said claimant. Okay, here's my problem. If you were there legitimately investigating a crime, then what would it matter what you said that was misunderstood if you were there legitimately, Russell? this property i will i will happily leave this property okay okay well i need to see those okay. credentials i, I got you to see your ID. i got you sir you got any firearms in the car i do okay where's it located 
in my center my center console. Don't worry, I'm not going to. Let's touch on that statement. I was mistaken. I did not have it. All right. Everybody knows I don't carry a firearm anymore. However, before the sins of my past, I carried a firearm from the day I was from the day I turned 18 was the day I got my first concealed carry permit. My father signed for it with the damn sheriff, and the sheriff approved it in the county we lived in in Alabama at the time. I have never not known where my sidearm was. Not only that, I've never not known the condition it was in. So the fact that he doesn't even know where his firearm is and he's supposed to be a professional concerns me greatly. I'll reach for it. Oops, sir. Gonna talk to him. You are going to have to leave the business. Okay, it is a closed business. What you're doing is considered loitering and prowling. Okay, I can okay. tell you who called. Okay, okay, I can tell you someone called. You're at a closed to be here. That is loitering and prowling. One thing I wanted to point out if he's there in a professional capacity, who the hell? goes to work as any form of a professional armed anything dressed in his prison arrest outfit, which consists of flip-flops for obvious reasons, those same red shorts and that blue circus tent. What professional does this? Go ahead. Criminal well, trespass is when somebody... Clear, thank you. Okay, so this passes when you deprive somebody of their personal property or private property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm so on two totally different crimes. So yeah, yeah. what's your name and badge number? Officer Hall, four one eight two. Four one eight two. Okay. All right. So I'm, right, so I'm sitting on a uh, private property. Yeah. Stop breaking the law, asshole! Yes. And you speak for the business. So the business. I do not speak for the business. I speak so you for can't the law. You can't tell me to leave. I'm not trespassing you. I am telling you to leave because you're con committing the crime of loitering and prowling. Being at a closed business when they're not open is a crime. No, it's not. Okay. When no, it's here, not. After someone calls, it is. Who? I'm the business has the to call. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Somebody that doesn't speak for the business right, can't sir. trespass Are you going to leave the property? I'll go to jail. Dumbass. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Let's okay. go. Come on. He's got his phone. Go ahead and just turn around for me. All right, hold on. No, go ahead and turn around for me. All right, I'm being arrested. Can I get my wallet and my phone? Yeah, we'll okay. get it for you, sir. Central District. Hey, sir. Uh, What's up, sir? I got a bad shoulder. Can you cuff me in the front? I'm not going to be. No, sir, I can't cuff you in the okay. front, but I will double. Look at that. Another frauditor with a bad shoulder wanting preferential treatment and be cuffed up front. What's the matter? Did you hurt your shoulder trying to locate your guy parts there, Russell, since you can't find them without a damn mirror and a set of spotlights? I have two cuffs on you. So okay, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. One of my cuffs. Yes, sir. 1119 hours. Yes, my come pick his truck up. I can call my wife. Can I, can I, can I give her a call? By wife, you mean victim? Did she know you were stalking another woman outside of your marriage? Tons of fun. What kind of timeline is she? She's two make? hours away. Unfortunately, no. We're going to go ahead and get a tow truck around. Okay. Can I, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I spit this out really quick? Yes, you can. This? Okay. So, uh, can I get my wallet and my phone? Where's your wallet and your phone at? My wallet is right there in the center console. Okay, and this then phone? your cell phone? Uh, is that the cell phone you want? Uh, that's my, uh, work phone. Okay. So I should have my phones plugged in, my other one. You can just bring that. Oh, yes, sir. That's All right. Well, one thing that he skipped over was where the officer found an old Warner Robins ID for Warner Robins Air Force Base that he claims identifies him as a disabled veteran to the VA. He cut that part out of the video. Interesting. Anyway, let's carry Let's follow up with what happened to him in court. Sir, you want to? Okay. If everyone will raise your right hand for me, do you swear 
or affirm the testimony that you are now about to give concerning this matter will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under penalty of murder. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Yes. Can you explain to this why that did, that alone didn't wasn't enough to dispel the alarm? That so, without any way to verify it, um, I have no way of stating this, this being any kind of legitimate form. Anybody can sit on a Google or Word document and make a document. Um, it also had several errors in it that I found to be strange. I do not recall. Yeah. Ah, pretty good. So pretty good. She covered your name and employment. And who's your uh, lieutenant for the Warner Robins Police Department? Lieutenant Tristan. Lieutenant Tristan. Is he in the courtroom now? Yes. Can you point to him? Thank you. Do you remember a call that, uh, do you remember? Jeans and running shoes in court while you're pretending to be an attorney. Dude, even Glenn Serio wore a suit to court. You're pitiful. You're, you're a gluttonous, woman-beating, just piece of trash, Russell Clarence picker on. A caller requesting service at 200 Graver Street in reference to a suspicious vehicle. Yes, you did. Do you remember if it was a 911 call or not? It was. Is there a state code or, or a state lawyer violation? There is. Okay. Is there a municipal code? for the city of Warner Robins for ordering violation. There is. Okay, I'd like to present a copy of that code to you. Does this look like the code section for Warner Robins? No. Is this the code section you arrested me for? Yes. In the um, reference into the highlighted portion here, um, was the church currently having any form of worship service during this day? No. Was, what was your justifiable reason and reasonable concern that I was causing any alarm or immediate concern for the safety of persons or property in the vicinity? A 911 dispatch. Did I take flight upon the appearance of a law enforcement officer? You did not. Did you take flight on appearance of the law enforcement officer? That's a dumbass question. Of course you didn't. Dude, you can't even walk 17 feet from the car to the post office door without sounding like Darth Vader before an asthma attack. Seriously, Russell. But guys, we're going to skip ahead a little bit to, well, the juicy part. Enjoy. And then refused to leave the property, which would have been my solution to dispel the set alarm. So you said I failed to dispel the alarm, correct? Yes. What more could I have done to dispel the alarm? You ran my tag. You, yeah, I gave you my valid driver's license. I gave you a valid private investigator's license. It cooperated with what the 911 call, with the one, with what the 911 call stated. It cooperates with what's in your CAD messages. Wouldn't a reasonable officer, such as ones that I've dealt with before, take a step back and go? Dealt with before. How many women have you stalked from closed church parking lots, Clarence? I can remember <clears throat> that. Okay, so that, like that. Yeah, so that's an error. Would you agree that's an error? Right, but I don't believe he, he didn't put that in the court, right? So why, uh, no, so why didn't the error get fixed before coming to court instead of just telling me to use that as a defense in court? Since I brought it up to you ahead of time. Error in the court? Yes, sir. Because then it would be changing the report. And then okay. you would say, why didn't you go to the court? Okay. Right. But you admitted, but you admitted that he made errors in his report. What, what errors are you talking about? As far as the gun? The admin errors. You, you said it's okay for the, for the police to make admin errors? I didn't say it was okay. I said that that is your defense. Your defense is I'm not guilty of ordering because there's errors in the report. Boom. Roasted. And here's the woman that he's going to badger on the stand that called 911 on him to begin with. I guess most women have good instincts for when a wife-beating piece of trash is stalking another woman. And that's my safety, that's my home. If you wanted to watch, you would have went somewhere else and watched me. Now, um, Your Honor, if I'm out of line, then you stop me. But I'm, I'm here to tell what I feel about this whole situation. You might have got hired by them, but it's a way that you can do stuff. And when you come close to my home, where I have to pay, where me and my great kids, PK, yes, I'm going to call the police every time, and I appreciate them for coming out. 
Now, if you want to dock me for that, you can dock me for that. My case is closed anyway. Uh, Ms. Jenkins, I'm not interested in your this complaint. Well, I, I don't know what you're interested in, but it doesn't even matter no more because you, you violated it. You didn't have no way to come around my home. Is that a public neighborhood? My home is public. If you see on my on my door of my home, it's a no trespassing. You don't, what you coming, what you coming around somebody home for anyway? Did I? If you investigate, move around. And, and for you to just sit at a location that you know you don't know something out of ordinary is going on, that's wrong with you. You wouldn't want nobody to see your neighborhood. Did I come onto your property? It doesn't matter. You was near it. Did I come onto your property? You did, but you was near it. So I stayed on a public street. It no, are you, Glen Terrio? You didn't. You stayed on private property that was a closed business for the day. That's what got you into this shit to begin with. Trespassing is not the charge. The charge is loitering, and that's why you're going to be found guilty is because you were guilty of loitering and prowling. And by the way, the officer still has his job. You don't, though. It does not matter. You went in a public church, and that church is closed on Saturdays. They open on Sundays, and we know when they got work going on because we'll see the little work trucks down there. We know the difference. But, honey, you were sitting there with your arm out the window. Is it illegal to have an arm out the window? Well, you say you're a private person, I ain't taking out your face. Okay. Yeah. So you were in fear of getting caught doing something which exceeds your Baby, medical restrictions, correct? Right? I was recording. I wasn't doing this. I got out of I came out of my door, got in the car, left that morning, went by the door, came back, parked, got out of my car. That's not illegal, baby. I went lifting nothing, I went toting nothing. So whatever you recorded, it is what it is, but I'm just telling you. You, you, you would have made anybody feel uncomfortable if they had to see an unknown vehicle just parked there. What did the occupant of the truck do that made you fearful of anything? Yeah. Damn, Russell. It sounds like you got caught with your hand in the cookie jar and you're trying to blame the person that caught you. Stop deflecting and just accept your punishment. Isn't that what you always tell people? I'm sorry? You didn't have to be sick. So me sitting when there left, made you fearful? Let me tell you something. When I left, and look how long it was. You didn't probably investigate it. You saw it. You were, I was gone almost two hours or something. And you still were sitting there with your same little arm out the window. So when I come back, yes, sir, I'm going to try to figure out who you are now because you're not going to. You're not going to make me feel un unsafe. You're not going to make my grandchildren feel on top of the way. None of that. When they see you on the set, they're going to get upset. But again, like I said, if you want to investigate people, find out of an area where you can't be investigated. You don't come here to make them feel unsafe and stressful. So your concern was you just didn't want to be watched, did you? Russell subpoenaed his victim. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. He loves victimizing women. And he's actually trying to re-victimize his original victim. Hey, Clarence, I got a question. What did LaGrange PD find in your background when they ran you for a job? Why didn't they hire you? Weird. Interesting. Oh, well, I'll just FOIA that information from LaGrange Police Department, too. It's okay. I did. And that was fine. But I'm telling everybody how I felt about the whole situation. Because you still hitting me for what reason? Um... No one likes to be watched through this. Well, it's okay. You can watch me. No, they don't want to be watched. So you stated I was sitting there for a few hours, right? Yeah, more than a few hours, yeah. Why didn't you call the police then? Why'd you wait a few hours to call the police? Because I had to see what you going to still be sitting there when I come back. And lo and behold, you was there. But if you were so in fear of your life, then shouldn't you call immediately? Like I said. Objection, Your Honor. Irrelevant and badgering. It would be sustained. When I was leaving, that's when I noticed your vehicle, honey. So, no, I was not going to call in. But if you were sitting there when I got back, I called my mom, them, talked to them about it. Yes, I'm going to watch you now. You, you 
been there for a reason. You might have got hired for whatever situation you had to get hired for. But don't come around my home. That's one thing you're not going to do. I'm going to call the police every time. When you come around my home playing with my privacy, yes, sir, I'm going to call the police. Her home is not public, you gluttonous, wife-beating piece of shit. Okay, okay, so you're saying if somebody's watching you, you're going to only use the Yeah, they got nothing to do with no pride, no, nobody watching nothing. That could have, even if it wasn't you, it could have been another vehicle. If I had to stay it over there, I'm going to call the police because I'm used to staying over there. And I'm used to not knowing. I, I mean, I see stuff that go on, but they don't be just sitting there posted up like you would. So would you agree there was no immediate concern about this vehicle sitting there? How? How is anybody? Those are some of those are early people sitting like right there in the area. You know, you know, you know, did whatever you had to do. You know, there is no. I'm probably the youngest one on that little in that little circle right there by the church. So you know, they wasn't gonna be able to notice that then because my old people don't really come out by it. And you do know this. Do you agree that you called the police because someone could be following you due to your current pending claim? I called police for being uncomfortable and it, I stated that it could be because of my workers' comp claim. Don't don't try to put nothing in here. Okay, so you. Different. Oh no, ma'am, I'm not. I'm just asking I'm just questions about your nine one one call. Don't add to it because I know what I said in that thing. We all heard what I said. I but I feel uncomfortable. You keep talking about ideas. Uncomfortable and not safe is the same thing, baby. Like, the same thing that they talked to in school. Okay. If you felt unsafe, why didn't you talk? All right, guys, here's the good part. This is the judge going to explain to Clarence, a.k.a. Landfill, a.k.a. Are You Glenn Serio, why he's going to be found guilty and why he shouldn't have tried a defense against trespassing when he was never charged with trespassing. Just seems like a common sense thing to me, but oh well. Here about stalking. The elements, yes, are different for criminal trespass and for stalking, but that's not why we're here. 16.5 um, 21 clearly gives the police department the authority to ask the citizen to move away from a public place, to not remain, to not loiter. So they clearly have that authority, um, which they tried to do with you, Mr. Pickron. Basically, as I see it, they just wanted you to leave. They just wanted you to leave. Um, it, it sort of escalated uh, for whatever reason. Um, but the facts are that you were in a public parking lot where it is not usual for law-abiding citizens to be because the church was closed. There were no other vehicles. And um, it did cause justifiable and reasonable alarm uh, to, uh, to the young lady, I'm forgetting her name now, that testified, Ms. Jenkins, um, to the point where she called my name and reported it. And, and of course, the officer didn't hear her phone call. He was just dispatched, so he, he had limited facts, and he was there to investigate. Um, he approached her vehicle, asked for your ID, asked you what you were doing there. Um, it would have been a lot better if instead of saying you were chilling, you would have said from the get-go, I'm a private investigator, I'm here doing my job, I'm just trying to get the job done and, and working for a company and that sort of thing. Um, the officer has this dispatch, dispatch call. Um, he but again, Here's my problem. If he was legitimately working, why did he lose his job and his license for this? This piddly shit. It doesn't make any sense unless there's more to it than Russell doesn't want us to know about. He testified that there's concern about churches being vandalized. He testified that he could not verify your ID, your investigator ID. Um, and for, for all those reasons and the fact that there was someone that, and, and the witness testified that not only was she in fear for her, not only did she feel uncomfortable, but she felt like she was in fear for her safety. And, and she was very believable.
think she was, you know, an alarmist or just saying something just to cause you or anybody else a problem or to unfairly take up the police department's time. But I think the, the police officer followed procedure. He followed protocol. Um, he asked you all the right questions, um, and, and, and he tried to... Um, he tried to make it such that it can end well for both of y'all by doing his job and by not having to arrest you. He gave you an opportunity to leave, and, and we didn't leave. And so there wasn't a whole lot else. He has the authority to ask you to leave. You refuse to leave. So we're basically in a standoff. What else could you do? You know, what else could you do? I wish you had left. I wish you had left because surrounding the whole thing, um, you know, led to this and became this kind of problem. Um, I do find you guilty of murdering. The fine is 150, the court costs are 50. Can you pay that today? I can. Okay. Can you uh can you use my bond? Oh you can use that bond. I'm sure you have a cash bond. So that bond will be applied to the uh, lawyer in charge and I won't charge the court costs which is the one that would be well, it didn't quite close out Russie's case because from here, he was so legitimately doing a job that this got him fired again, and he lost his license to be a security guard in the state of Georgia. So here's, again, here's my problem. If he was legitimately there doing a job, why did his company fire him? If he was there legitimately doing a job, why didn't he cooperate with law enforcement? Why didn't he notify law enforcement? Hey, I'll be in the area. I don't know if I'll be armed or not because I'm irresponsible. Um, why didn't he let them know, hey, this is my plate number. So if it comes up in a call, you'll know why. I mean, why didn't he offer all this to begin with? He should have done it before he arrived in the area. But all professionals would have. So I, I don't know. He deserved this guilty verdict because he was guilty of it. You know, I can't speak to the loss of his license or the termination of his employment, but if his employment for that company was anything like it was for Coweta County Jail, then he's probably lucky that he held on to the job as long as he could. Anyway, we'll have more on him because we have for you a whole bunch of stuff from LaGrange PD and a few other places that Russell doesn't know that we know about. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one.